here is the video to finally please your needs, the long-awaited Stevie and Frost duo. Now, I must say before this video begins, I had to sacrifice a lot to play with this man. He's picky. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know we were duoing. I woke up to a knock on my door and a letter in my mail saying, Stevie is Monday wipe. 12 o'clock. Be there. Stevie. I had committed to this duo without even knowing, and when I arrived on the island Monday, he made me sign a contract, going against everything that I had swore I would never do in Rust. Upload a video on a modded server. And to add insult to injury, his modded server. Now at least he treated his guests nicely. My trip across the seas took longer than expected, and in that time he had built us a small shelter, and he backed me in. Hello beautiful beautiful boy. Dude, <laughs> did you go to the grocery store? Why? You took so long. No, I did not, because I was busy. I was actually busy doing something. Doing a Raid Shadow Legends ad, baby! That's fair. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. This game's officially taken over and it ain't stopping anytime soon. It's the first game to bring true console level experience to your phone. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on bosses, dungeons, and campaign battles. With over 600 champions, all with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. I have been personally using the Royal Guard. He's an epic champion under the elf category and makes boss battles a breeze. His power and damage points are scaled based off the enemy's HP, and his default skill also decreases the enemy's defense. So, as you can imagine, it makes high health boss battles much easier. I also use Engar, because he looks like a Chad, and he's good at dealing critical damage to the whole enemy team with his provoke ability. Besides that, it's a huge month for Raid, since they just released the Sylvan Watchers, a brand new faction with new champions, Forest Elves, Ents, Druids, and Fays. There will also be a whole new series of events taking place over the next month along with the new Forge Pass to get your hands on some of the most beautiful gear in Raid. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can also get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. If you're new to Raid, click the link in the description or scan my QR code to claim a free Epic Champion, 200k Silver, 1 Energy Refill, and more. Make sure to claim your rewards from the inbox here in Raid. I hope to see you all in-game. Yo! Head Hitchcock. Okay, here, take this, take this. Run with me, one, because I need to get this bag, but also make like a trillion outside bags. Stevie's plan like was to take the small hut he already built and make it the most automated, technologically advanced raid alert system that would prevent us from getting offline raided. And all he wanted me to do was kill. I could do that. Now I'm sure you've heard of the overpowered slug meta, because at this moment I hadn't. And you're about to witness my first wipe and my first realization of how overpowered the slug actually is in Rust. Stevie crafted us a few, gave me some slugs, and told me to just trust him on this. I'm dead. Pumpy guy? No, water pipe guy to my face. So with that abrupt wake up call, I had the realization that the slug might actually be OP. There's prim guys right here south. So he crafted a few more. Oh! These slugs too? Yeah, they're, we're having a slug battle. Oh, rocked! Getting that naked's in between us and he's grabbing a slug right behind me. It seemed like everyone else was using slugs as well. No! He clapped your shit! I was about to go down a rabbit hole that I would not be able to climb out of. Wait, wait. Are you reloaded? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he heard. No, he's running. Go. Hit him. He's running. Oh, dead. Nice. This was our first gun, and the start of a very long winning streak. He's coming out from his base over here. I'm gonna kill him in the Time to shine, buddy. I shot him. Wait, don't peek for a sec. He's running. Bro, where are you, my Bob, my guy? Hold on. No, that wasn't him. He's right How here. How many guys me. northwest? Headshot dead. Oh my! Brother. Hey, man. You might want to close these doors, brother. Because um, I can pick out a wall and literally go deep. No, it's okay. With the two Tommy kits that we acquired, I guarded Stevie as he expanded the base. And don't ask me what the fuck this man was building. He had an idea and I was just gonna let him roll with it.
I'm dead, I'm dead to Python. He's on my body right now, looting. He has Tommy. He dead? I think you're muted. No. He's not dead? No, he's not. I'm dead. He's dead, he's dead. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, he's just beating me. Oh, I'm getting shot at from Solo Guy, bro. I'm no dead. way. Peeking out his thing. This is Dread, a solo player who built right beside us. He would be nothing more than a nuisance this wipe. As he's you could tell, right he now. wasn't that good. He's on, he's on the mound, literally right in the open. Yeah, I'll kill him in a sec. Twice? He just headshot me. This guy is actually stupid, dude. Back to our base progress, we needed gears and a shit ton of metal frags now that our base layout was complete. Let me just order something, some hazy guy leaving. You wanna clap him with me? I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I could just chase him on a horse, rush him. Yeah, go ahead. The range is super close, this guy's dead as fuck. You can loot. What'd he get? What'd he get? Two rows of metal frags, dude. Go, oh, go, go! We need that so bad! And he had fucking 4k cloth on him. And he had 90 high qual. Oh, the high qual too. Once again, Stevie continued to build, and I continued to do everything else. I was carrying this duo. I was farming, getting us kills, and making us enemies. And did I mention farming? Bruh. Look at all this, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> A whole fucking farm room. That already helped so much. Very good, very good. I kind of want to keep the trees close to our base that aren't blocking line of sight. For the sake of if that big group comes to raid and they have to raid in a forest, they're just like, fuck. Sorry, I haven't properly introduced you to that big group that Stevie just mentioned. We assumed they were a big group because their base was big and they had a scrap heli already. Oh shit, here comes full kids toward our base from fucking like, Oxen, watch out. Stevie wanted to refrain from pissing off the big group for now, while he finished the base. Once this compound's down, we're like tenfold safer. Now I have all the walls on me now to do it. Okay, can you please cover me? Yes. Okay, let go. Place the TC, you slow poke. Oh, I got it. Oh, and that winning streak I told you about. We were still on that. I'm going to that, because that's a right outside our base. Yep, I'm going to. He's up there, I'm gonna kill him. Wait, wait. Oh, I hit him twice, he jumped in. Can we clear out the guys on the outside or are they on the other He's dead up there. Are you Tommy too? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna rush that. Oh, he closed the door like a little bitch. His buddy's in there. I don't know where these close Tommies were, so we gotta be careful. What the fuck happened here? There's dead Tommy- Oh my god! Fucking bunch of the fucking loot and Tommy kids. So by just a few hours into day one, our base was already complete. All that was left was to eventually upgrade it to high qual or sheet metal. I wouldn't even necessarily say it was because it was modded. It was just because Stevie wanted to live out of the smallest little rat shit shack ever. To bait people to raid us, of course.
after doing some simple chores for Stevie, I figured now is a good time to give you a rundown of the neighbors who lived in the forest beside our base. This right here is the soon to be very obnoxious neighbor with auto turrets. Hiding two guys. And this right here is the unlucky duo that just so happened to get caught in the crossfire. Were they Tommy? That shot hit. Killed him. Is he dead? Nice. They have roof access, just kidding. Ooh. These are the guys that have been dead on roof. Alright, I have both their shit. Do you want to bring me. The fuck? Oh, you have to jump up this way. I see, I see, I see. What do you want? Ladder? Bring me a ladder to get two guns. I'm dead, I'm dead. He's dead. He's dead. They're opening? Yeah, yeah. He's dead. Dead. Nice. Dude, we are taking so many dubs. I know, dude. I'm like scared we to say anything like, about it because it's so fight, bizarre. Bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> the land between our neighbors' bases seemed like it could hold some value, so I decided to take it. The airdrop coming down on our fucking base. And now, just when we thought things would calm down for a bit. A gift from the Rust Gods would revive the life around our base. What is it? What's it going to be? You. What's it going to be? Oh, it's a C4. It? Oh, that's huge. You're freaking me. <gasps> that's not us, is it? No. I'm going to go check that out. That guy's dead. There's one beneath the the, red, the ridge, full metal metted on you. Nice. Bro, I wasn't going to shoot them, but they shot at me and I was just building. I had to return fire. Oh, you shit. Tell them. These guys were full kit. QC, where have I seen these guys? Oh, fuck. I metted. I mean, I walled, I walled. I cannot help you for the time being, and there's also a naked at our walls. <laughs> I got Are you in. in. I got in. Nice, bro. Oh, certain, certain up, yes, certain you things. know it's coming down. I'm coming. Help. Stay alive. I don't know how I'm still alive. I've killed like fucking six. Here, There's here, a guy here, with here. a gun, 20, I, t I downed him, you should go loot him, he's right where I'm looking, 20. Oh, shit, I pissed off some guys over there. One full dead. Another one dead. Wow. We actually had really good duo mojo. I was getting content of just straight up PvP and Stevie was getting base building content. Bro! Look at this shit, look! This and then we're dope. gonna have wind turbine up here. Look at that peak down, it sees like everywhere in our compound and out of it and onto our roof. And you gonna... can go up here. What the fuck? Yeah, this is gonna be for turbine. <laughs> Holy, this is gonna be such a sick ray defense angle. Like, they can't just land on our roof. Alright, can you get one sheet metal for me? Then I can power this whole fucking base to life. Hey, I got what you needed. Six sheet metal. Nice. How many? Six. Oh, that's actually so good. Stevie wanted some offline revenge this way. He wanted our base to get raided, but be strong enough to put up a fight long enough for us to log online while we were being raided. Which means he wanted a lot of turrets. 
Her face looks so measly, okay, bro. Yeah. It's so small. Call me a doomsday prepper. It has a stack in 30. Nice, perfect. That has them open, which means this should close them. Yeah. Nice. Closed. Perfect. So on like all circumstances, we will keep those closed. And then in the situation we start getting raided and whatnot, of course, it's just the bottom switch. You just flip it open. Stevie and spent all of day one making this fully automated garage door opening heartbeat sensor fucking extravaganza of a base. And it would alert us if we got offline raided. All right, bro. I boxed all my shit up here. I'm going to bed. All right, sounds good. Make sure your ringer's on, bro. Because yeah, dude. if someone comes, I'm spamming right, you till you wake up. in right by my ear on my bed. Dope. Twas fun. I will, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, peace. Peace. Oh. Hello. Hello. Give me give me one sec, all right? Yeah. The morning had begun and another airdrop was landing right outside of our base. This would bring another wave of action similar to yesterday's. Yo, yo. Yo, I'm gonna go out. He's down here. I'm looting him. Okay. Okay, good luck. Your base is getting raided. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you your python just saved my ass. GG easy. Oh, one's one shot. There are two guys going for it right now. They're getting AK'd. One's probably dead to AK. You're still alive? I'm dead to P2. No, no, no. He's on my tummy body. He's running the other way. Give There's a guy coming from Do our base. Tommy, Tommy, at our gate. Burlap, Tommy. At our at this TC right here. Crouching with that. Nice. Maybe behind low wall, 55. That's window. I think those guys got gadget inside. I just brought back fucking. Like, that guy four times. Ah, I'm Python. He's on top of the rock. Then? Motherfuckers, man. It's Verge. I have a bag on their base. So, that AK we kept hearing that we thought we could get turns out to be this guy in his base the whole time. Hit him twice. Hit him three times. I think he's dead in there. Can't really cover you for a sec. Hit him. Dead. I got M39, but no, I can't. Damn. Okay. <laughs> can you hop out with another one? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So here's the deal. After trying to get that airdrop, we had a very rude awakening on the other side of our base. Our neighbors had expanded what was just one small base into a full automated turret compound. Now this trap base shit over here, it's been World War III like all morning that I've been like watching. Like these are all turrets and they're motion sensor and people just run by and just get sprayed. It's actually gross. So I took one look at that base and thought of something that I would usually never consider. But since we're unmodded, it wouldn't be too hard, right? Let's wall in their trap. And I, I say we go literally like nude, like with like three walls at a time. Or do you say we go and like no, we try to hold them in their base? With all the walls and we just fucking do it. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe. Oh, I'm getting bolted. That's kind of sicko. And then on top of that, this little solo shitty shithead built a roof camping skyscraper right beside our base. Those guys are really gonna fuck up if they want to play that game. So, we grabbed a jackhammer, a chainsaw, and we went to go farm some walls. Oh, come to me. Okay. Wanna steal a mini? Sure, do you have ladders? Yeah, I have one. It's enough to get up. Yeah, one, one will work. Dead on roof? Watch, just watch the jump up. I'm dead. I got AK. I'm jumping. Nice. I'm going deep. I'm dead. They have so many traps in there. 
I don't have an extra gun for you. You can take this and I can guard. Here, take. Wait, you got his gun? Wait, how did I oh, just- Oh, you have the AK! You have AK! I know. That guy on the roof had AK! Dude, what's going on, man? Just go, just go, just go. Wait, 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 go, go, guys. Go fast. I'll give you something for the mini. Come on. Okay, I need the best covering you've ever done in your life. Cause I have a lot of shit. Yes. All right, let's go. You're gonna place the wall, and then you're gonna place the TC. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, keep covering. Lit. He's three, he's just a ninja suit. No Hit that guy twice. We gotta watch from their base direction. I still don't Kill have the flashlight. One, both nice, one's coming from their base. The open turrets. That's fine. Dead. That is it. I've never thrown one of these before. That's dope. Oh my god! Did it break it? Oh. I got it. Put a door on it. We'll make it a 2x2 two two for us right now. Dead? I shot him, my bad. Oh, I got. That's pretty good, I'd say. Yeah. That just leaves this to them, them this one side to get out of their base, and that's far away from us. And that was the finished wood compound that we made around our enemy's trap turret base. We weren't able to complete it because their base was too close to military tunnels, but it got the job done. Funny thing was, I didn't even know who this neighbor's name was. I just hate auto turret traps. But Stevie knew. Stevie knows everybody. I'm pretty sure he keeps a journal right by his desk with Polaroids and names of all the players he encounters. Because he knows. Where? Azmat. Get a water pipe. I'm oh! This guy? 400 scrap. I'm running it straight into outpost. Where's he live, you know? That's This is the turret guy, bro. This is how he's getting all his turrets. So Morty was our neighbor. He had a group. We just hadn't encountered them yet. I also got a feeling that he wasn't too happy about the new wood walls around his base. Bo, bo guy outside you guys' the compound. Bo guy, bo guy. He's trying to be weird. He's crouching up and down. Ooh, you missed Bro, me, you're a you're a bitch. Bitch. Yeah, well, you shot no at me, fucking So what, dude? This doesn't mean you can be a snitch, bow. bro. You're a fucking snitch, yeah, well, bitch. Yeah, I am a snitch. Yeah, Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah. Eat shit, Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Eat shit, fuck you. Yeah. Eat shit, fuck you. Yeah. Eat shit, fuck you. Eat shit, fuck you. Dude, you know who that was? Who? Fucking Morty, the guy that lives in that big. Morty compound. was the one yelling. He was the bow guy. Up. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Now that Morty was under control for now, we headed inland. Oh, three guys entering right now, full kits. One of them have a launcher? I think so. Okay. This could be yep. big. Yep, yep. Nice. I'm not even gonna- I'm gonna let him take it, and I'm gonna let it become full night so I can use my night vision. They came from my direction, by the way. Two so are on me, two are on me! Yeah, you're on your own, dude. One's on me. I'm gonna kill him. He's dead, full dead. I'm dead. Kill him. 
one, one dead. I just, is that dude fucking hat? Is it turning day already? Your server has the fastest night ever, bro. Yeah, that's true. It's like Insta. I see a body bag. I shall go loot. Bed and full AK kit. Really? With AK? Yeah. Nice. Name was Temper. Temper? Yeah. No. He's he's the Who's main that? enemy in the story in my next video I'm about to release. He came in offline, me and Snuffy, after we'd gotten off like three hours later, he was blatantly stream sniping. And I defended the raid and like hardcore fucked him in the defense. So not only was I carrying this duo, getting us AKs and a shit ton of guns, but I was also finishing off past rivalries and revenge stories that Stevie had with other duos. <laughs> also, funny story, we didn't realize this, but we actually walled in Morty's neighbor, our neighbor. And this right here is the unlucky duo that just so happened to get caught in the crossfire. The unlucky duo I mentioned earlier, we really didn't realize we walled them in as well, and they came over to let us know that. Oh, well, they're chopping it. They're chopping it. Ask if he's with them first. Okay, so first question, are you with those guys with all the turrets? Like all the two, like the guys that we walled you in with? Uh, no, no. Okay, you're just doing it. made a ba small base there yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so, th so these guys made like a really fucked turret spot, and so we had to wall them in, and you were just unlucky collateral, but we're gonna give you guest codes to that base, but you cannot give it to the turret guys, and if we see you, we're still gonna kill you, man, but like at least you'll be able to get in and out, okay? We're gonna give you guest codes to that gate. Oh yeah, we appreciate it, bro. So that was it. We gave guest codes to Parabellum, and him and his duo could enter and exit freely. Oh, and in case you didn't notice, he was the nice fella who recommended closing our door earlier into the hey, white. Man. You might wanna close these doors, brother. No. Because um, I can pick out a wall and literally go deep. No, it's okay. Right, but thank you guys. Yeah, sorry. He says thank you, dude. Like we didn't just totally fuck his wife, bro. <laughs> I know, like holy shit. Walling in our neighbors seemed to attract a lot of unwanted attention. <sighs> like we're getting camped now by a fucking kid who I just shit on. Door campers, to be exact. People we didn't want to lose our gear sets to. So it was time to go back to our roots, just for some good old fun. He sees me. Hit him. Dead. Nice. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys trying to grab the, the guns over here? Follow me, follow me, follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double slugged, AK? He's one HP up here? He's getting sprayed up by somebody else. There's two, there's two. This all shots, they're three, they're three. Hit, hit another? You can pick me. Dude, they're getting sprayed by the custom guys. They're moving on them. I'm pushing. I have 30 health. We're good. We're good. Hit one once. Hit him. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. 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 He sucks. Cock. He's on me. I'm dead. I finished the guy that I downed. Headshot him. Full dead. Nice. Go loot that. There's two kids there. They're coming no, 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 from behind no. though. I want to stay with you. I'm not running home alone with it. Let's dip. Let's dip. Let's dip. Good shit, dude. Yeah, that was nice. There's a kit to our left. I found Looks like I got. I'm getting shot at from behind, but he's missing. We gotta get to barn. Don't don't return fire if possible. He's dead. Kill the guy behind chasing you. Nice. I'm new wall, so this is really scuffed. I'm safe. Good shit, bro. That was so well played. You finishing that guy was huge because he because he couldn't like just crawl off the side of the ledge. Bro, the liquid in this thing is like defying physics. So I don't know what to tell you guys, other than this story is just a shit ton of PvP. 
Stevie built his base, we were done within the first day, and now we just needed to piss off some more people. And alas, we thought that time was coming, after we called in an airdrop and finally attracted the attention of that Zerg who lived right by us. I'm gonna go with that, dude. I'm going. They're probably, if this guy's tapping like this, there are probably like five of them. Right here in front. Three times. Ah, oh, dude, are you dead? I'm dead. What a roof. They were baiting, but like, they're bad. I'm gonna come down and loot my body. He can't get it, can he? I'm dead, I'm dead. For what? Silence, AK. Okay? They're just like, silence. It's the six man, bro. Bro, they're so bad. They're so bad. Down one. Can you go from outside bag? I, his body's in the wide open. I spawned right by him. Oh. I shot him. Nice, he should be dead. I double hit him. Nice. He's right here. I'm dead, I'm dead. Hit him twice. Bro, no. I am getting so unlucky. I need you to come back. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. I just got... I killed... Oh my god, that dude keeps coming back. So this Slavin guy was now 3-0 and against me, and I was pretty pissed. So I grabbed an AK from base this time, and I headed back out. Nice, so we just netted an AK? Yeah, I'm trying to get this last guy. Where is he? I'm trying to cover. Hit that guy? Yeah, that's not AK Kid. Watch out for AK Kid. Why is that guy? That guy should not be shooting at us. This guy's probably close on a flank. And he's trying to distract. I found my body. There he is. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead with two AKs on my body. He's running to it. <laughs> he's on me right now. Looting. At, at the walls, at oh, the stone high wall. Both dead, both dead. You got them both? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm coming back naked. Just, just cover that for now. Let's just go inside. Yeah, I got my body. It had another AK on it. You have two on you? Yeah. So we, and I have two, so we netted two. We profited multiple AKs from that fight, but I still felt as if I hadn't gotten my revenge on Slavin. But we knew where he lived. I'll take the surgeon suit. So we about to perform an operation. <laughs> okay, that's cringe. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> God damn, bro. It was a note, signed by yours truly, and the intent to steal the scrap heli that had been on their roof for the past day. We hoped that since we had just stolen a few AKs from them, this would not only seek revenge for us, but also put a target on our backs for their next raid. Go, 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 bro. <laughs> we are the bitch! Go, 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 bro! <gasps> they just shot a fucking missile at me, I think. You did? They shot HP! <laughs> Damn. Bro, that HV wasn't too far off. It was just like a, a bit above your head. We figured that was enough to plant the seed of who we were in that Zerg's head. While we waited to see what their move was, we roam to the snow for some more action. Naked on me here, looks like he has a gun. If he does, pump. And a row of guns, take this, or look at this. Like MPs and Tommies, but that's kinda nice. Dumper! Probably gets to our left running in right now. We might be able to catch Power? him going in. Yeah. I see the guy in the back. Three. Dude. Far left. Far left. Dude. Different guys. Get that dude twice. That is an unpushed position. Yeah. We should just fall back. That dude oh, was, was running back or something. They were just about to jump somebody or something. I'm dead, I'm dead, doubled, tripled. Fuck, he's on my body. 
I'm a block and a half out. Be careful, because they're coming down from that bottom base. And they're two or three. There's a full metal white kit running, running from my position on the map right now. I can't get to you. Killed full metal white kit. As you get to the top of that mountain, yeah, right there, you're running right at him. Oh my god, I just got doubled. How am I not dead? I'm, I'm safe, I'm safe. AK close, naked. Down 350. He's hit. Dead. Nice. I'm one med left. I need my body. Kill that guy? Yeah. Killed a full white kit. I have no ammo and Then come to me. No meds. Nice. Jesus! I'm getting suppressed. We need to get my body and leave. Hide is that if you need. Nice. I'm pushing to you, let's push to that body, loot it and leave. Roof yeah, I got the skip. AK out of yours, but I didn't get... Oh, there's another guy who's tapping out right now on the other side of this mountain. Watch out. He might be... I'm ready. You want to just go with this? Did you loot that? Uh, as best I could. You have one extra AK, right? No, I have two extra AKs on me. You have two extra. Okay, that's perfect. I think I could confidently say that I was definitely doing my duties of pissing people off and making enemies for Stevie. Ted, is that you? North Korea wants to send message. What? He was to send message? He said North Korea wants to send message. There were AKs over at the other side where all those Tommies were fighting at that base. Body block the next one, bro. <laughs> Take one for the team. <laughs> trying to shoot oh, our. Uh, he's just trying to shoot our fucking. Dead. What? No, he's breaking our gate. No, he shot all three of them at different spots. He shot one at this furnace, shot one at our scrap heli, shot one at that wall. -wall. He's dead up there now. We should go for the airdrop, might be hot. Yeah, we could. There's another Hazzy guy pushing from your south at this. He's on a horse. Point. One dead? There's another one. Better the horse. I'm beamed! I'm dead. I shot him? There's another one pushing you to the right, it's a Hazzy guy, be careful. I killed two more on me, but there's one more left. Okay. Big fighting right now. Throw it! Nice! Just try to hold on right here if I can get a gun. Yeah, they're all dead. Fucking frost! Oh, father, father, frost! Holy shit. Shortly after that, we heard a nearby group shooting rockets into our enemy neighbor's compound that we had walled in earlier, so we decided to go mess with both of them. You go to the TC, there's a sheet mill, or road sign kit. Guy on the other side, one shot! Where are you getting shot from, inside? I killed one inside. Hit him. He's he back down. You can maybe loot. Stevie and I weren't too fond of this new circle base messing with our neighbors. That was our job. Hit him once. Hit him again. Break all the squid. Body shot, headshot, dead, 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 dead. 
You just jumped out. The fuck? You can do one on the. Yep, perfect. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I got AK. I'm watching ladder hatch. You're good, you're good. Killed him on the thing, he's coming up. He had an MP5. Oh my, bro. Dead in shooting floor. Let bitch! Let bitch! <laughs> Let's go. I would say Stevie and I had done our due diligence for the day of not taking a single L. We had pissed off all the groups around us, including the groups in the snow, and we made sure people knew where we lived with vending machines around our base. We decided to go check out our neighbor's base one final time huh. before getting off for the night. Wait, we could. You want to try to run in this back gate and just see what, like, what it lets us see? Let's see if like a turret shoots at us or something. Yeah, we're gonna run into that turret, but we may be able to use these guys' bases cover. Are you in? Oh, I like I could have just beamed that guy, except the sun is blaring in my cock. Build one. Oh, these are all the They're all dead. Alright, I'm getting out. Pointless. So shortly after we left, the duo that was simply unlucky collateral when walling in our neighbor's trap base just so happened to be the next target for our neighbors. They're raiding the metal base, bro. That's in their compound. We need to go to this. That could be big farmer loot in there. Why would they do such a thing to such a fucking innocent group? Yeah, such nice people. These guys are psychopaths. Open that bitch up. Killed one, I'm one shot. I killed three, I just killed three. Nice, you're nuts. Can we instant rocket that? I can go get them, but yes, we can, we can. But you have to, you ha you cannot die. This this gate isn't opening. I think server's frozen, or I'm lagging. They're all on timer. I DC'd. You did DC. The only thing keeping us from getting the rockets they were using during the raid were their auto turrets. I just killed the dude with the rockets. You want me to help you kill for a bit and then go, or just go now? Just go. I just killed a full kid. I had to. I'm bottom gate right now. All right, got it. Double headshot one dead. You're doing so good, Frost. All right, there's one behind the center thing and one to the right. One to the right on that tower, one behind the center thing. They closed all turrets. Oh, you wanna loot fine. the rocket body? Wait, wait, be careful, they're gonna open it. You can you can do it. Build another? They open it. Back, 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 back. Good bait, good bait, good bait. The loot shoot it again. Nice, I'm going again, I'm going again. Wait, wait, okay, yeah. Is it three rockets? Break it. If it opens, just fucking send that last one I so I don't I get think I missed the second one. Oh, you think you did? I gotta go for that rocket body. Yeah, you can try. Oh, there. Back. Should it? Should it? Yeah, one more, one more. No, wait. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to get that rocket body. I'm gonna chuck a nade over there. Not that far one. It's on roof. Dead. Dead. Right, I'm gonna go for it. You ready to shoot it if it opens? Right when it opens, just shoot it. Okay, yeah. I hope it's still three, bro. If they change anything, you're fucked. Yeah, bro. Run. Run! Ah! Ah! It's dead! Go! Run! Run, 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 run! I got it. Two rockets. Let's go! This body has a bunch. This body has a bunch, too. That body right there. No way, bro, that was perfect!
We took the rockets back home after that and we barricaded ourselves into our base for the night. The neighbors got the majority of the raid loot, but we figured after everything we had done to Morty that day, he would want to seek some revenge overnight. I had logged off AFK for the night, but Stevie was still wide awake. Morty had run over with one singular C4 to take out our compound turret, and Stevie had the itching suspicion that he was going to do an offline raid that was going to last the whole night. Here we- He feared of losing his progress to this trap base offline raider that would bring explosives by the hour. The worst type of raider. Someone who would keep him up and make his life miserable. So. He decided to make theirs miserable instead. 